Hi everybody and again welcome to this channel. Now if this is your first time to this channel we welcome you. We'd love you to be a part of this channel. Just press that like button, subscribe to this channel, leave your comments down below because we'd love to hear from you. So today I'm going to be talking about time management or, or should I say the management of time. All right? Because how we manage our time is important because everybody has 24 hours in the day and it's interesting and you know many people yourself most likely that you see some people that can get so much done in that time it's equivalent to some people working one week how do they do it how do they time management as they like to call it but I think it's more it's the management of your time you know because you really like this simple time management you're just slotting things in into that variable time that you have and sometimes your time is not your time because your time is being organized by somebody else who has an agenda I suppose if you are managing your time you're taking responsibility for your time, what you do with it, how you use it, because you value your time. You're know, you know that your time has a value to you. Now, whether it's financial or it's in some other way, you know that what time you have is extremely valuable to you. And you are wanting to make full use of it, maximize it, because in that time that you have av available to you, you have to get certain things done. And how you do it is going to be important in how you manage that time. So you become, in some ways, very focused, clear in the opportunities, the priorities of how you are going to be using that time. And who you're going to allow in that time to take that time up and I've seen more and more people are starting to not just accept anything and everything into their space and this is good because people are starting to think is it going to be working for me does it meet the things that I need to do the criteria I've set for myself to be productive, to be um, maximizing the use. Does it meet some of, some of my standards? And people who are managing their time are looking out for key things, not just accepting anything and everything into their space. And sometimes you have to turn down some good things. And sometimes you've got to say no to friends and family when they say, can we go out? Can we do this? Let's go on holiday. And you've got to say, at this time and moment, I need to be focusing on this opportunity, this situation. And some people may be offended. And that's their right. But you've got to understand what is valuable for, your, for you and your time. How are you going to be managing your time? Now if you just want to go just put in a simple time slot and you say okay yeah I can do you here 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 on this day that's fine. But if you're at the dictate of somebody else I think you need to question that role. Yeah. But if you're able to manage your time, you go, okay, somebody's requested you that they would like you to be doing this and this on this day. And you said, sorry, I can't do it on that day, but I have this time available at this time later on. You know, you give them option because you are in control and you are managing your time, your space, responsible. You are responsible for the time that you have, the time that you have been given every single day to make 
the best use of it and we have so many distractions nowadays uh, electronic distraction is immense and various other things too so managing your time and if you can learn and start to master it you'll grow in leaps and bounds but it takes time and effort it takes experimentation because you're not going to get it right straight out first time round there's going to be a series of different things that you'll be experimenting with from your electronic um, devices from your paper devices from using various things to um, to track and record your time things to prompt you that you that you're on a a short time limit various things um, that's out there that can be of help to you but also a distraction as well understanding in some ways the distractions can be a massive help to you you know what distracts you from performing your best work and one of the things that could happen is you know not getting enough sleep and i i did a video recently on on that you know on sleep so it's important for you to really understand yourself you know because if you want to manage your, t your, your time you have to manage yourself properly because by managing yourself properly you're going to make sure that you're getting enough sleep you're exercising you're um, feeding yourself mentally spiritually if you're in that way inclined but giving yourself the necessary um, mental and physically physical food so that you can produce the best things that so you yourself can make those clear mental decisions and be quick and clear about it you're not spending a week two weeks in coming to a decision in something that could be very simple and very clear and very basic you can make quick clear on the quick clear decisions and how to move forward on the situation so understanding those things how that you can manage your time and where are you going to be placing certain things in your day or when to be starting certain things in your day this is you going to have to experiment with you know for some people they get up they can do exercise straight away for some people they need to be doing some reading like reading listening to some nice music then going out and do a bit of a workout for other people it may be later on in the day but all of this takes a bit of time to figure out and for you to be patient with yourself so that you can find the right level for you because again for many of us we just take on board whatever has been spoon fed us you know because this person says oh no you must always be doing it this way but when you try it that way I've, I've done it myself it doesn't quite work and you're thinking it doesn't seem to be getting the right traction but when you start to make the adjustments and you say okay let me try it this way and you change it you tweak it it kicks in and you're thinking now nah, this makes sense so it's again, it's one of changing that refinement, making necessary adjustments for you to have that mind and that time and how you do it. The management of your time is so important. So I hope this has sparked some ideas, some, you know, some juices in your mind and conversation with yourself thinking, okay, let me try to make some adjustments because management of your time is not dependent upon <clears throat> necessarily your age you know you could be very up into your 80s and 90s or you could be in your early 20s how you manage your time because everybody has 24 hours in a day how you 
tend to use it, it's up to you. So, I hope this video has been helpful to you. And if it has, press that like button, share it with your friends. Until next time, take care now. Bye-bye.